Good afternoon, class. Before we begin our class discussion, let us pray. Let us pray first. Please lead the prayer, Miss Abraham. So, the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, in Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits me here. Ever this day, be at my side to light and guard, to rule and guide. Amen. Thank you, Miss Abraham. Let's check the attendance first. Class, is there any absent today? No? Very good. Complete attendance. So now, bring out your assignment, pass it forward, and I will be the one to check it. So before we proceed to our new topic, let us recall what we tackled yesterday. The topic that we tackled yesterday is all about plural form of regular nouns. Can you give example of plural forms of regular nouns by adding S? Okay, there are dog, dogs, chair, chairs, bag, bags. So, can you give example of plural forms of regular noun by adding es? Yes, they are wish, wishes, charge, charges, mango, and mangoes. Very good class. So are you familiar with the regular floral song? If, are, if you are not familiar with that song, let us watch the video.
Nakamute ka, Ira. Oh my When we say plural, what does it mean, class? Okay, very good. It means two or more. How about the noun? Yes, it's the name of person, place, things, animals, or event. Okay, well said, class. So now, if we look at the meaning of a regular noun, it is a noun that becomes plural by changing its spelling in other ways than adding an S or ES to the ends of the word. Here are the examples of irregular nouns. Ox, oxen. Octopus, octopi. Feet, foot. Child, children. And goes in geese. So now, I will present some picture, then tell what it is, class. Okay, class? What is it? Okay. Yes, this is woman. How about this one?
Please get your pen and paper and identify the name of the images presented. Are you done? Okay. Pass your paper and pass your paper forward and I will check it later. And for your individual activity, get your notebook and match the singular noun which are in column A to column B. Are you done class? Okay, let's check. Exchange your notebook with your seatmate and let's check your work. Who got the perfect score? Okay, very good. So the first, now let's proceed to our group activity. The first group is will be the row one and group two is row two and group three is a row three. So I will read the sentence. The first group who will raise their hands will be the one who answer. Only the leader will raise their hand. Did you understand class? Okay. For number one, number two, number three, number four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and the last number. Okay, the group who get the highest score is a group A. Congratulations, group A. So again, what is the regular nouns? Yes, irregular nouns is a noun that becomes plural by changing its, its spelling in other ways than adding an S or E. And for your last activity, complete the sentences with plural form of words in bracket. Are you done, class? Okay, and for your assignment, Copy this to your notebook and when you are done, pass your notebook and I will check the activity that we done before we proceed in this assignment. And before we go, and before you go home, get your notebook here in my table to do your, to do your assignment in your home. Thank you and see you for our next subject. It's time to snack. Enjoy!
Okay, uh, good evening my fellow classmate. Uh, good evening ma'am. Uh, pardon me for my voice. Uh, meron pong sipon tsaka ubo. So ito po yung munting uh, presentation ko, yung LP ko. Let's start po. Okay, uh, good, good day children. Before we start our lesson for today, let us all pray. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Almighty Father, we praise and thank you for this day. Watch over us as we go about our works and studies. Help us in every way so that we may become children you want us to be. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. So, how are you today, children? Anyone? Yes, Mr. Ladesma? Okay, very good. And how about the others? Are you fine? Excellent. Now, all are fine. Let us start to our lesson for today. But before that, let us review first our previous lesson. I have here some question to, your, to our lesson yesterday. So here's, here is the instruction. Choose the correct preposition in each sentence. The first to get the correct five sentences will get five points. Let's start. Here's the number one question. The students arrived from to their field trip around 6 p.m. Raise your hand if you want to answer. Yes, Mr. De La Cruz, what is the answer? The answer is correct from. Here's another question. Question number two. The guests went to from hotel to take rest. Anyone? Yes, Miss Campomanes. Very good. The answer is who? Another one. Mrs. Lopez and her daughter came to from Laguna. Yes, Miss Arabaca. What is the answer? Excellent. The answer is from. This is the fourth question. Plants fade to from side to side during windy days. Yes, Miss Ginoo. What is the answer? Okay, very good. We go to the The dogs run to from their owner when he arrived. Okay, Mr. Delor. Correct. The answer is two. So the number one question is the students arrived from their field trip around 6 p.m. The guests went to hotel to take rest. Number three, Mrs. Lopez and her daughter came from Laguna. Plants sway from side to side during windy days. And the last question, the dog ran to their owner when he arrived. Okay. You remember our previous history. How? Let us begin our for two. To proceed and better enhance your skills. Being kind of meaningful, Today, we will also learn how to compose more sentences using appropriate grammatic structure proposed phrase. Our exercise prepared for you today will help enhance your skill in composing more coherent sentences with prepositional phrases. Let's continue. Okay, before that, uh, let's review what you've learned. Study the following phrases in the open. Check the position of each phrase. So here's the question. Question number one, in the dark. Question number two, above the tree. Number three, below the ground. 
Number four, under the sun. Number five, in the closet. Number six, under the chair. Number seven, in the vase. Question number eight, on the teacher's chair. Number nine, over the wall. And the last question is above the sky. So, based on the instruction, circle the prep prepositional preposition in each phrase. So, you can start now. Okay, are you done? The preposition in two is above. In number three, below. Number four, under. Number five, in. Number six, under. Number seven, in. Number eight, on. Number nine, over. And number ten is above. So, these are the preposition. So, let's continue. I have here a link. A link. So we're preposition sing along song. Try to list down the prepositional phrases used. Uh, I have uh, some uh, video to you, a uh, one minute video, and I, I will show you.
Okay. So, did you list uh, down the pre pre prepositional phrases has been used? Okay, very well, children. So, now let us proceed to our lesson. So, prepositional phrase is made up of a noun or a pronoun and all the words in between. What is pre pre prepositional phrase? So, English has about 150 prepositions. Again, prepositional phrase is made of preposition and a noun or a pronoun and all the words in between. Do you understand, children? Okay, very well. Yes, the highlighted phrases is above sentence are pre prepositional phrase. So, here is the example. The present, gene, the future. Many inventions as outer space. Another example. The airplane is sometimes found under the cloud. Children love to stroll around the park. Okay. So, what is the prepositional in the first sentence? Anyone? Yes? Yes, Miss Bore. Okay, very good. The prepositional phrase is under the clouds. How about the second sentence? Anyone? Okay, very good. The best prepositional phrase in the sentence is around. Okay, now let's group yourself into six and follow action. We are going to our next activity. I have here some prepared uh, envelopes containing jumbled phrases. The first group to finish the sentence correctly will be the winner. Post your answer on the board. Okay, here's the first question. Jumbled question. Other thing foods are your too. The second question. Behind cut the, the chair the. And here is the last jumbled question. Walking classroom is Maricar da into. So you may start now. And I'll give you 10 minutes to uh, analyze and uh, answer the jumbled question. Okay, uh, all groups, are you uh, done? Excellent. So, let us uh, answer the jumbled question. So, the answer in number one question is, bring some food to your father. Anyone get the correct answer? Uh, yes. All of the uh, group have the correct answer. So, number two. The cat hides behind the chair. So again, all of the uh, groups have uh, the correct answer. And last, number three, Maricar is walking into the classroom. Very good groups. Uh, you managed to answer all the jumbled question correctly. Okay, now so let's proceed to our lesson. So what are the prepositions? Prepositions are words used before nouns to modify another word in the sentence. Again, children, okay. prepositional phrase, the preposition and the noun, a pronoun, and all the words in between. Did you understand, children? Okay, very good. Examples, during the night, 
over the moon, beyond the horizon, cross the highway, round the park. Okay, nice work, children. So, before, before we end our lesson for today, I will give you an assignment. So, think of a song or any poem that uses per prepositional phrase. Sing or sing or read it for the class tomorrow. Did you understand? Okay, very good. That's the end of our lesson for today. Hope you've learned. Goodbye, class. Keep safe. Nakikita na po. Yes po. Okay. Okay. Okay, good evening class. Okay, before we start, let me introduce myself to you. Okay, I'm your teacher Evelyn on the subject on English. Okay, before we start, let us pray. The name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. I thank you. I thank you for the life given me and for bringing me the beginning of a new day. Guide my way, renew my heart with your strength and purpose. Okay, class. Before we proceed, let's let's check our attendance for today. Okay, Hannah, please check our attendance for today. Oh, no one will absent? Okay, very good. Because of that, give yourself a three claps. Okay, class. This giving of classroom rules. The 5S. First is, you will be, be positive, be polite, be, be productive, be prepared and be respectful.
Next is who will be remember our lesson our lesson last meeting. Okay, Isa. Um please give me an idea or of our topic of last meeting. Okay, very good, Lisa. Our topic last meeting is all about poem. So, poem is a piece of writing that partakes of the nature of both speech and song that is nearly always rhythmical, usually metaphorical, and often exhibit, exhibit such formal elements as meter, rhyme, and stanza structure. The sun is an important symbol in this poem. So, class, I have here a scram scramble letter. Three minutes, you will present your answer or, or you will raise your hand if you if you like to answer. Okay, class, are you done? So let's answer. Who will be, who will want to answer? Number one. Okay, um, Joseph. Okay, very good, Simili. For number two, who will want to, who will want to answer? Ara. Okay, met metaphor. Very good. For number three, Rico. Okay, very good again. Personification. And last, number four, Anna again, figure of speech. Okay, class. Very good. Okay, we proceed to our or before we we proceed to our main topic so i have here an activity so identify if the figure of speech is a metaphor or a simile so number 1 she is the apple of father eyes number 2 marie is my sunshine number 3 papa being the breadwinner works like a dog. And number four, Juliet is the son to Romeo. Number five, sister cats very little, she cats like a bird. So, after that, after three or five minutes, let's check your answer. Okay, class, are you done? Let's check your answer. Who will want to answer the number one question? Okay, Lisa. The number one question is, she is the apple of father eyes. What do you think is the answer? Okay, very good, Simili. Why? Why Simili? Because... She com she compared the apple to the to, to her father eyes. Number two, Marites. Answer. Marie is my sunshine. Very good. Simile again. For number three, who will want to answer? Gino. Okay, very good. Hyperbole. Number four, Juliet is the Santa Romeo. Who will want to answer? Dina? Okay, very good. Simile. For the last, number five, sister cuts very little. She cuts like a bird. Who, is, who will want to answer? Joanne? Okay, very good personification.
Okay, class. Our topic for today is all about figure of speech. So, figure of speech is refers to a form of expressions used to convey meaning or heighten effect over by comparing or identifying. So, figure of speech is um five types. Five types. These are simile, metaphor, personification, hyperbole, and assimilation. This is the five common types of figure of speech. Who will read the number one? Simile. Anna. Okay, thank you. Simile, comparing one thing to another dissimilar thing using like or as. So, simile is the comparing one thing to another and, and using like or as. For example is, she is beautiful like a rose. She comparing a rose is beautiful. He used like to use the rose beautiful. Next is So another another example for that is a school as cucumber. She she use as to compare a cucumber. Next next is metaphor. Comparing one thing to another different thing as if it were not another thing. Okay, who will, who will read the example for the metaphor? Gino? Okay, thank you. Not the sky, but the light in the sky. So, the sky comparing Comparing to the light. So another example is, you are the apple of my eye. So he, the apple was comparing of her eye. Next is another example for metaphor. He's a couch potato. Next, she's she's a snake in the grass. Okay, next is personification. Who will read the next personification? Okay, Ara, read. Okay, thank you. Personification, it is called a visible representation of something abstract as a quality giving human qualities to animals, object, or abstract. So, ex for example, is that the, the fog comes on a little cat pot. Then another example is the flame of the candle dance in the dark. So, next, hyperbole. Who will, who will read the hyperbole? Okay, and again. Okay, thank you. 
uses exaggeration per emphasis or effect. So, the example for that is, I'm so hungry, I could eat a horse. So, he used he use, he use an exaggeration words that reflects here he was she was hungry and she she ate a horse another example is she cried so long that she made a leg last is alliteration so who will read the alliterations Lisa? Okay, thank you. Alliteration is repeated consonant sounds occurring at the beginning of words or within the words. For example is, she was wide-eyed and wondering while she waited for Walter to waken. So as you can see, the consonant, the consonant, at the beginning of the words. Another example is crispy cream. Same letter K on the beginning of the word. Dunking Donut. PayPal, Coca-Cola, Coca-Cola. And class, for your another activity, I know you will you will listen and you will learn a lot for my for our discussion. So let let comes to let come to your activities. So, with your group, study the sentences, phrases in each number, identify to what figure of speech are used. So, after three minutes, let's, let's check our, or let's check your answer. Okay, class, are you done? So, let's answer. Number one. Oh, rain, how long, how long will your, will your fall upon me? Who will want to answer the number one? Okay, Lisa. Okay, very good. Metaphor. For number two. I can move mountain for you. Who will want to answer? Gino? Okay, very good. Hy hyperbole. For number three, the world is a stage over are all actors. Who will want to answer? Anna? Okay, very good metaphor. For number four, they eat like a bird. Who will want to answer? Lisa again. Okay, very good. See me, Lee. For number five, the photo has a sentimental value to his friend. Who will want to answer? Joseph, okay, very good alliteration. Okay, class. For you, Anna.
What is a figure of speech again? Okay, thank you. Very good. So, figure of speech is a deviation from the ordinary words in order to increase their effective effectiveness. Basically, it is a figurative language that may consist a single word or phrase. It may be simile, metaphor, personification, hyperbole, and alliteration. Thank you. Okay, class, for your assignment for today, you will research the definition of drama in, and its element and write in your paper. Okay, class. That's all. I hope you will learn a lot and you will enjoy our lesson for today. Thank you.